Okay, so before I talk about the science of Splatoon, I'm going to explain what it is. It's a 4v4 turf war game where you have to paint the ground with your colored ink. You can pick between different paint guns and customize your character. There are other game modes to which are Story Mode and Salmon Run, which comes out in the sequel of the game Splatoon 2. Take a look at Turf Wars. heck does science even have to do with Splatoon, okay? I bet no one has a clue, or m probably, maybe. But to know this, we have to look at the history first. Nintendo first came up with Splatoon in late 2013. They had over 70 game ideas, but decided to focus on inking turf instead. At first, this concept featured black and white blocks of tofu with ink spraying noses. Then, they did something else. A rabbit was chosen as a design because when viewed from above, their ears would indicate the direction it was traveling. Eventually, the rabbits were scrapped in favor of humanoid squids, which fit the theme better. Splatoon relates to science by using computer technology. People from the company Nintendo use programming to make characters and a whole new world. Technology is an aspect of science that occur with this topic. People use programming to make virtual characters and a new world by telling the computer what to do in a command prompt or other program. Science helped my topic move forward by using Unreal Engine 4 as their program. There were no scientific discoveries while making the game because they were using a program that everybody could use. You may ask now, well, how will Splatoon affect the human body? Well, it makes the human body feel excited and competitive because of the non-stop action and it always brings something new that you can enjoy. Every match of 4v4 that you play is always different. Same with the levels of the story mode in Splatoon. Take a look at the story mode of Splatoon 3. Okay, so now that you saw what the story mode of Splatoon is, I'm going to tell you something else that affects the human body. The game has a time limit that increases the player's adrenaline, making you want to continue playing the game. P 
People enjoy Splatoon because it's simple to understand and you have to be smart with using your special abilities and aiming. The graphics are nice and a lot of people like the looks of cartoon 3D games. Splatoon makes me feel progressive every time I finish a game. I get experience points and if you get enough, you level up. I love how you can customize your character too because it makes me express myself. Now I will be showing the game mode Salmon Run. Overall, I learned a lot from this because it's really cool to see the history of the game and how it was made. My understanding increased by knowing a lot about the game. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, smash the like button and subscribe. See you in the next one.